Good morning, YouTube family. Uh, today's video is going to be a full day of uh, eating on the keto diet. So, if you're interested in the keto diet, stay right there. Alright guys, so for my first meal of the day, I had to try something new. I found a YouTube channel, they're called, um, what is it, Mind Over Munch. And uh, she does two ingredient uh, recipes, and this recipe was called Zero Carb Cloud Bread. And this is what it looks like, guys. I've never tried this before, but it's like a, it's like soft. I don't even know how to describe it, but it, it tastes like a sweet... Uh, kind of salty, sweet and salty kind of little snack, and um, it is comes out to be 20 grams of protein, 22 fats, and three carbs. So it's technically not zero carb. But the only reason it's not zero carb is because I used the wrong uh, cream cheese. So the ingredients in this were three eggs, two tablespoons of full fat cream cheese, which I used light cream cheese because I didn't have any. I didn't feel like going to the store. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some of my chocolate autumn farms on top and I think this is going to be delicious guys so uh, you guys should definitely check that channel out so meal one right here we got this alright guys so now it is time for meal number two uh, I went ahead and went to the grocery store and found these little diamonds in the rough they're called wings of fire uh, I'm going to have three and a half servings right here uh, I've been cooking my own chicken wings and then just uh, letting them marinate but then I figured out that you know just quick uh, for for time efficiency I went ahead and bought the ones that are already pre-made so this is meal number two and it is 45 grams of fat 49 grams of protein and I believe nine carbs total so that's meal two I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this I'll see you guys, right, guys. so we are in the car and we're on the way to get wifey from the airport uh, she lands at like 11 40 p.m. and it's about an hour hour and a half drive to get there so we had to make a little quick pick stop over here at it is called a little sub shop I don't know if you guys have this everywhere but it's called Jimmy John's way better than Subway in my opinion and they also make this thing called an unwitch no bread so we're here guys get ourselves a gargantuan unwitch whole bunch of shit on it I'll show you guys what's on it in a second let me get up out of here Alright guys, so here is the the unwitch. It just uh, it's pretty much just the sandwich, and it's wrapped in uh in lettuce. It's real good. Uh, I make these all the time by myself at home, but like I said, we're on the road, so we had to make a quick stop, man. So so if you guys can't even see me. So if you guys do have a Jimmy John's, or you can actually maybe try it Subway and see if they'll do it for you, but. It's a great option, uh, super low carbs, like five to 10, depending on what kind of vegetables you get on it. And yeah, so make sure you guys try it out, the onions, the macros for the sandwich will be on the screen because I don't have my phone with me right now to tell you guys, like 50 grams of, like 50 grams of fat and 50 grams of protein or something, somewhere around there. So yep, yeah, uh, back into the car on the way to the airport and I'll check in with you guys later for meal number four. I make my own money so I spend it how I like. Alright guys, so we just got home from the airport picking up wifey and I was so excited about how that little like cloud bread stuff came out uh, this morning. So I had to do it again and I uh, had to show wifey how it came out. But this time I did something a little bit different. I went ahead and I just sprinkled uh, some cinnamon. That's why the little brown dots on there. I sprinkled some cinnamon on top of it. And <clears throat> wifey's, I guess idea is that it tastes like pancakes so I, I couldn't figure out what it really tastes like but it's like I said it's kind of like a sweet kind of like a salty but it's not like overly sweet or salty and then this just makes everything better in my opinion so um, here we go this is the same exact meal as meal one except I added one extra egg that's the only difference in this guy so uh, this is meal four I believe and we have I think 50 fats or close to 50 fats uh, we have some carbs left uh, to get to our 30 goal but our protein is pretty much maxed out. We only have nine grams left. So this is where peanut butter comes into play. Uh, I have to be up for a couple more hours, so I'll probably just snack on some peanut butter for the rest of the night. Uh, but I don't know, I might not. So, uh, all right guys, so we're sitting down, we're chilling, about to watch a movie uh, before we head to bed. Uh, and for our final meal, since I haven't had literally any of my carbs today, 
I get to have my carbs at night. So, what we have here is a serving of the Arctic Zero. We have a, a drizzle of the chocolate, and we have two servings of this Jif peanut butter, <clears throat> and all into a bowl, chillin'. This is our little nightcap. So, um, with this meal, I'm pretty sure it's 32 fats, um, 14 protein, and a 27 carbs. So, highest carb meal out of the day. Uh, this is definitely going to taste the best. Uh, so, the final macros of today, I will have them on the screen. I believe it's like 180 fats, uh, a little above 160 protein. I went a little high on the protein today, and I'm pretty sure I'm at, I finished at 40 something carbs with around um, close to 20 grams of fiber. So, that is a full day of keto eating for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I will be back next week or in 100 views or whatever comes over. All right, I'll see you guys later. Is in my chain girl. Okay. Every 20 minutes change clothes. I had a meal before.